So as Democrats is continuing to cry about January 6th, cry about the, the so-called worst day in, in American history since 9-11, the most destructive siege of our democracy and attack on on our uh, civil civil liberties and and crazy January 6th, uh, which nobody died except a Trump supporter. Um, no, no cops died. It was no fire bombing, no shooting cops or shooting cops with fireworks. None of that happened on January 6th. But again, while they completely uh, over exaggerate January 6th, um, if somehow they turn a blind eye to the stuff that uh, Democrat or uh, Antifa is doing. So I got this. This So Antifa is again attacking I did a couple of videos on this before, but Antifa is again attacking uh, Atlanta because they don't want them to build a police training grounds. So they're attacking federal uh, property. Um, there, it was it was about two hundred Antifa extremist terrorists uh, that that attacked this training this soon to be training ground. So I just wanted to play this video for you because you never see CNN and them talking about this. You only see this on certain right wing uh, news public uh, news publications. So uh, let's look, watch this video. I don't know why it's not playing. Uh oh. See, we refresh it. Watch this. How is it that violence by the political right is deplorable while by the left it's defensible? Well, that's the question to ask after a group of what police describe as violent agitators carried this. out a coordinated attack at the proposed site of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. And these are the same extremists that was that that been terrorizing this this area of atlanta for like the past year or so like they they literally uh burnt burnt a man's truck like dragged him out of the truck and burnt his truck and and they're doing this because um social justice or like these people are just evil destructive um terrorists and that's what they should be called on March 5th. According to police, they changed into black clothing, entered the construction area in DeKalb County, then began throwing large rocks, bricks, Molotov cocktails, and fireworks at police officers. Actions such as this will not be tolerated. So what's their problem? Well, it seems they targeted the site okay. over plans to build a 90 million and and the news media still want to are still or we're still told by the left and by joe biden and by the news media that antifa isn't a group antifa isn't an organized uh group of people antifa is just an idea it's just it's just you're just a anti-fascist you just you're just an anti-fascist that go around beating people because of they think different than you <laughs> that don't sound like anti-fascism to me million dollar police training facility that's come to be called Cop City. According to Fox News, various groups from the Stop Cop City movement have protested against the development. They say it's an effort to militarize Atlanta police on land that should be preserved for nature. By the end of the day, there will be 40 people that have domestic terrorism charges. Yeah good they should they should yeah many they, of which that's exactly what they are they're they're domestic terrorists just for being in a parking lot police have did you hear that clown he said they have domestic terrorism charges just for being in a parking lot did you just did was they just in a parking lot or was they burning down shit and destroying like they always do they wasn't just in no parking lot have released images of more than 20 of those arrested. They've been charged with domestic terrorism by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. 
In total, 35 people had been detained. And get this, most of those protesting weren't even from the state of Georgia. And two were from Canada and France. This is... Yeah, most of them weren't even from Florida. So you still are from Georgia. So you still want us to believe that Antifa isn't an organized group of people. You have people coming from all over the country and all over the world because some of these people wasn't even from uh, the United States. It was somebody from France and it was somebody from Canada. You have somebody coming, you have people coming from all over the world organizing, all dressing in identical outfits, black block. And you want us to believe that Antifa isn't a, a, a group, an organized group? It, that's so stupid. It's a national network, an international group of people that are organized to come to our state to undermine a public safety training center. Previously, protests kicked off in downtown Atlanta in mid-January. On that occasion, demonstrations... That's the, that's the one that I did a video on. So this is this is not the first time they've been terrorizing uh, Atlanta. ...weren't just aimed at the planned training center, but also by the fatal shooting of a protester at the site earlier that same week. The fatal shooting of a armed terrorist that was shooting at the cops, that shot a cop. He was not no protester, he was an armed, uh, violent terrorist that was shooting at the cops and he got shot. In reality, of course, the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center will ensure that not just police, but firefighters too have the proper training facilities in place to keep neighborhoods safe. The new Public Safety Training Center will allow us to have kind of a one-stop shop where all the training is situated in one location. The Atlanta Police Department, the Atlanta Fire Department, the employees can come together, they can train. It just will allow us to uh, have a more, more robust space, be able to uh, have more places to spread our wings. Today's Democrats claim to want to change the public's perception that they're soft on crime. Well, a good starting point might be to denounce the siege at Cop City by Antifa radicals. And they will never denounce it because they're in a cult. Look at this. Stacey Abrams, um, a very pro a prominent Democrat. Um, people even talk about her running for president. Stacey Abrams is supporting these violent uh, uh, Antifa extremists. She's she posts or she's her nonprofit launches direct action against Cop City. So she's in line with these people that's attacking this 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 uh, t soon to be cop training ground. So you have Democratic politicians back in. Um, people that's actually charged with te with domestic terrorism, but Trump say, uh, let's go to the Capitol and peacefully and patriotically have our voices heard, and people start riding there, and he's the 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 worst ever, uh, 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 pushing violence or uh, what the hell is the word they use? inciting violence so he's inciting violence he's inciting violence by saying let's go down there peacefully and patriotically have have our voices heard but stacy abrams is literally supporting people that's bombing or that's fire bombing with molotov cocktails and shooting uh fire or, or fireworks at police the double standard is insane <laughs> so yeah that's my video uh, these people are, in fact, uh, domestic terrorists, and they should be charged accountable or uh, charged accordingly. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in my next one.